Hello, let's take a look at what we are going to create. We are going to create a BMI calculator. BMI basically stands for body mass index. It's basically a measure of your body fat based on your weight in relation to your height. Um, this basically applies to most adult men and women aged 20 and above. So basically you put your height in centimeter. Say for example, if you are 178 centimeter and you also put your weight, say for example, you're 85 kg and then you calculate, it tells you your BMI or your body mass index. And if you see here, it gives you a guide. So for example, this value here now means this person is overweight. So anything greater than 24.9 is regarded as overweight. So that's it. I look forward to showing you how to create this BMI calculator. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to create the project directory and the HTML. So I'm going to create the directory on my desktop. I'm just going to right click and go new folder. And I'm just going to call this BMI calculator. So you can call yours whatever name you like. And you can create folder the same way on a Mac and also on a window based computer. I will be using the Sublime Text Editor as my editor for this project. So I've got a new file here inside my editor. I'm just going to save this file as an HTML document. So I'm going to go File and I'm going to do a Save As and I'm saving it into the directory I just created and I'm going to call it BMI dot html and i'll click on the drop down and just select html and click save so any code i have in here now will become an html file so you can see on the bottom right of the text editor is called html there so the way i'm going to approach this is i'm going to add the code in I've already pre-staged the code, so I'll add the code and I'll explain what the code does line by line. I have added the HTML code that we'll be using for this project. So I'm going to run through the code with you line by line. Line one here is the doc type and the doc type is not actually part of the HTML document. It's basically a declaration to web browsers to tell them that the content of the document is an HTML5 document. From line two to line 35 is the actual HTML document. So any content within line two to 35 is the HTML content. So we have the head section, which is on line three to line seven. So the information within the head section is not actually visible to the visitors of the application. The only thing that you can see in the title bar is the title of the application, which will appear on the title bar or when the application is launched. On line five, I've got a link to the external style sheet I will be using for this project. I'm going to be using an external CSS file. I've called it bmi.css. However, I have not created it yet, but when I do, I will call it bmi.css. Okay, and you can see the rel, this is an attribute, it's called rel. Basically, you use that when you are linking to an external style sheet. And this is another attribute that tells you the 
type of document is a text and also CSS. The href attribute basically is a reference to where the file is going to be located because it's going to be located inside the same directory as the HTML file. All we need to do is just include the name in quotes. And this is where the head section ends on line seven. The body section begins on line nine and ends on line 34. So any content inside the body tag is what is actually visible to the visitor. Inside the body tag on line 11, I've got a div element and I've given it an ID attribute of container. So this is the opening div and this is the closing div here. So I'm basically wrapping all the content inside this div called container. Inside the div, I've got an H1 heading tag. This basically is going to form the title for the application. And I have got two, three inputs here. This is going to be the form where you're going to input the actual value of your height in centimeter. And you can see here it says height in centimeter. This was just going to be a label for the input box. So where they need to enter the height in centimeter. This break here basically means it will give a break between this input and this other input here. So I've got another input tag and I've got weight in kilogram. This is basically going to be the text next to the input. Uh, again, I've given the input type um, text. It's the input type is a text and I've given it an ID attribute of centimeter. Yeah. Same thing with the weight here. This input type is going to be a text input. And uh, again, I've given it an ID value of kilogram kg and BR basically means break. So it will leave a, it will jump onto the break kind of, kind of like works like a paragraph. It just creates a break. I've got another input type here. This is going to act as the submit button and I've given it an idea of submit. The value is going to be calculate. That means the button will actually read calculate. So when you press on the calculate button, it will um, do the actual calculation of the BMI. Here I've got an ID and I've given it um, a value of result. The, again, this is another div. This div will display the result of the calculated BMI. So this is where the output will be rendered. I've got another div here called weight guide. This basically is just some text guide that will guide users as to whether they are underweight, overweight um, in relation to their BMI. So it will just say BMI weight guide if you're on the weight, this is a value, anything 18.6. If you're normal, normal range or normal weight, it would be 18.6 and 24.9. So anything greater than 24.9 is going to be regarded as overweight. All right. And this is where the div ends. And just before the closing body tag, I've got a script tag with a source. Source basically means where am I getting the script from? This is going to be the external JavaScript. This is the JavaScript file that will contain the JavaScript that will be responsible for computing or calculating the BMI. And I'm going to call the JavaScript file BMI.js. I've not created it yet, but when I do, I'm going to call it BMI.js. And that's the closing script tag my closing body tag and my closing HTML. I'm just going to click on save to save all. And I'll quickly open up the, the file so we can see what it looks like. So I'm going to open up the directory and just double click on this so we can see. All right. So this is what the calculator looks like at the moment, the BMI calculator. So we're going to add some CSS later to make it look more presentable. So that's it for this lecture. We've created the directory for the project. We've also created the HTML structure. In the next lecture, I'm going to add 
some CSS before we go on in the lecture after that to create the JavaScript functionality. Many thanks for watching and bye for now. Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to add some CSS to our project. So I've already made a reference to the CSS inside our HTML here using the link here. So now I'm going to create the actual CSS file. So I click on the file option, I go to new, and I'm just going to save this. I'm going to save as, and I'm saved inside the same directory as the HTML file. So I'm just going to call this BMI in lowercase, bmi.css. I'm just going to click on the drop down and select the CSS option. Click save. So this file now is a CSS file. You can see on the bottom right hand corner, it's called a CSS. Again, I am going to add the CSS code and explain it line by line. So this is the CSS okay. here. So I'm going to start with the first ID here. This is the con ID called container. So if we look in the HTML, this is the ID I'm referring to. So here I have given it a width of 375 pixels, a height of 525 pixels, margin from the left. So basically this is the left. So I'm saying from the left, I want it to move this 350 pixels margin from the top. So this is the top. So I'm saying from the top, I want it to go down three. I want to go down 65 pixels. I'm giving it a background color of yellow and padding to the left is 30 pixels. Padding refers to the space inside the div element. So I'm saying the space inside, I want it from the left to create some space, 30 pixels. So that's what this, so these are the CSS for the ID div container. And then we've got this ID called CM, which is here. This is one of the input field where you input the value in height. So I've given it a width of 150 pixels, a height of 25 pixels, and again, margin from the top. I've given it a value of 30 pixels. This is the other input field here. If I go into my HTML, I've got an input field called KG. So again, I'm applying the same styling as I did with this CM input. Again here, this is a weight guide, which is this div here. I'm referring to this block of code here. So basically this is the styling I'm giving it. I'm giving it a margin from the left, which this is the left here, to move 75 pixels and margin from the top, 50 pixels. Next, I've got the result ID, which is this div here on line 19. This is basically where the output will be rendered, the result of the BMI when it's being calculated. And we have the submit button. This is the button that will be clicked on to do the calculation. So this is the value here. It's got an ID of submit. Okay. And the value that will, that means the text inside the button inside this input will say calculate. So basically this is the CSS I've given it. This is the width, the height, margin, left, top. Border radius basically gives it a rounded edge. It makes it round, gives it kind of like a button edge, making the corners round. Border star basically means we don't want any styling on the borders. So if there's any shadows or any, anything like that, it will remove the shadow. Background color, I've given it a background color of blue, but feel free to apply your own custom styling so that it looks um, to your taste. 
um, color here this refers to the color of the text inside the submit um, input it's going to be white and um, font size basically refers to the text size i've given it 25 pixels body here basically what i'm saying i'm giving the entire body of the document i'm giving it a background color of black this is black in hexadecimal values uh, finally i've got the h1 element h1 basically this is the title here which is this here that will say bmi calculator i've given it padding because it's located inside the div so i've given it padding padding refers to the space inside an element while margin refers to the space outside the element so from inside the div I'm telling it to move left 15 pixels and to drop down from the top 25 pixels. So that's basically it for the CSS. I'm just going to save all that and open up the file again. So this is the project here. I've got my CSS now and my HTML. So I'm just going to run this, run the HTML and see what it looks like. So yes, this is what it looks like at the moment. So everything is in place the only thing we need now is to create a function for the calculate button so when we click on that it will output the bmi here so that's it for this lecture in the next lecture we'll be creating the javascript functionality thank you bye for now hello and welcome to this video in this video we will be adding the javascript functionality to make the bmi calculator work javascript relies on html and sometimes css to be in place before it can work so we've already got css and we've also got html already in place so let's go ahead and add our javascript so this is our code so far this is our css and this is the html so let's add our javascript we've already made a reference to our javascript inside our html file courtesy of the script tag here on line 32 so to create a new file i click on file i'll go new and i'm going to save this as a javascript file so i'll do file save as and it's going to save into the same directory as our css and html i'm going to call this bmi dot js and in the drop down i'm just going to select javascript which is this one here and i'll click save so the code i'm going to be adding into this file is going to be javascript you can see on the bottom right here it says javascript so i've already pre-staged the code i'm going to add it on and i'll explain the code line by line so here i have added the javascript code that will make the bmi calculator work so let me run through the code with you on line two here i've got a comment so anything that is a comment is ignored when the code executes so this is a javascript comment so it's a, this is what is known as a single line comment so when the code runs it will just skip this comment and ignore it the comments are useful because they help you explain your code to yourself and also to others so here on line two is what is known as the formula for calculating the bmi okay so here the w is the weight so basically the bmi formula is kilogram divided by height over 100 times height divided by 100 okay so this is basically how you calculate the bmi you do this bit first which is in parentheses the height divided by 100 times the height divided by 100 and then you divide that value by the value in kilogram that will give you the b so this kg basically is the weight so this is the weight and um, you're dividing the weight by the height 
so line four here we've using the document.getElementById method and inside the parentheses we are passing in submit submit basically is the button here which is inside our html document if i scroll down here you can see this id submit that's what we're referring to inside this here so we passing in the submit and we have also got an event listener so here we've got the add event listener the document to add event listener basically this is a method that attaches an event handler to the document and you can see we are attaching a click event to the BMI calculator okay so here now what we're saying here the event we are attaching to this is the click event and uh, when the button is clicked or the submit button is clicked on it will call this BMI calculator all right this is a function which we are which I have defined here on line five so I've defined a function called BMI calculator and here we've got some variables here variable centimeter and we are using setting that to equal to pass int the pass int basically is a function that passes a string and returns an integer okay that's what we're doing here so we're passing a string but returning an integer integer is a number and we're using the document or get element by id and the id we're getting is the cm again if we go into our html we can see we the c the cm here refers to the input so this input here and this is the value so any input that is entered into that text box is what is going to be converted into an integer value because the actual text box is a text so we're going to convert it using this pass int here we've got a variable called kg we're using the pass float the pass float function passes a string and returns a floating point number this function determines if the first character in the specified string is a number if it is it passes the string until it reaches the end of the number and then returns the number as a number and not a string that's what the float does line 9 here I've defined a variable called BMI and a variable called new CM I'm setting the value of the new, this variable here called new CM to pass float and I'm passing in the value in centimeters divided by a hundred here the this BMI here variable BMI I'm setting that to equals to the kilogram which is this, var this variable here divided by this value which is this variable here times this variable here as well here on line 13 again the value of this BMI variable is going to change I'm going to set the value to equal to the BMI dot to fixed basically the to fixed method is used to convert number into a string keeping a specified number of decimals in this case I've passed it one so it will have one decimal place um, console.log you don't necessarily need that this basically is for troubleshooting purposes so when you run your application you can see the value also of the BMI inside the console so this is not is not mandatory you could actually comment that out or don't use it if you don't want to but I tend to like it so I can see what's happening in the console as well line 16 we've got the document dot get element by ID and the ID is the result so if you go into the HTML here 
this is what it's referring to. Okay, so it's getting the element by its result and it's going to replace this div with the calculated value of the BMI using the inner.html. It will set the value of the BMI based on the calculated input. So that is basically it. So I'm just going to save this and then we can um, test to make sure everything works. So I'm going to open up the directory here and click on this BMI HTML file, this one. So each time you have to refer, it is the HTML file that you run. And don't forget that from the HTML file, I have linked both the CSS and the JavaScript. So I'm just going to double click on that and we can see. So I'm just going to test it. So height in centimeters, so I say 177 kilogram, I say maybe 85. I click calculate and you can see the value there. Okay, so we've got our BMI calculator working as designed. So that's it for this project. If you have any issues whatsoever, please do not hesitate to contact me. I'll be more than happy to help you. Take care and all the best. Bye.